welcome or welcome back to the Amount with Abby Kimani. So yes, this is Ask Abby where we have five questions per episode and of course you can ask any question that you want in the comment section down below as long as you keep it respectful. So question number one. Hi Abby, what fashion do you like? Um, what's it called? The collared, collared shirts. Um, um, uh, Hilo. Something Hilo, you know. Although I'm not a big fan of dresses. Uh, black t not black t shirts. What's it called? I had off shoulder t shirts. Black t shirts. Um, hmm. What else? 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 Um, 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 hoodies. Oh my goodness, hoodies, especially oversized ones, because they are warm. Especially since it's July, they are warm, and they're comfortable, and you know they look nice. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? I think that's about it, honestly. I don't. I'm. I'm a really bland person, anyways. Uh, <laughs> let's move on to question number two. But if you have any other um, fashion that you like, please post them in the comment section below. And then, like, I can see what you guys like and try it out. You know, see if I like it too. So, question number two. Hi, Abby. Why do people kidnap others? Uh, for money, I guess. I guess, like, um, the reason why I know people can be kidnapped is that the kidnapper can hold that person like for ransom so that they can get money i honestly that's the only reason i can think of right now but it's sad that there's even kidnapping uh if you've heard of the wanjala serial killer he was kidnapping kids and then he was asking their parents for money and when the parents failed to get the money by the deadline um he'd kill the children and that's sad you know people are people are sick you know but uh, let's move on to question number three Abby, how important are elections? Um, extremely important because without them we wouldn't have like the leaders that we want or we wouldn't get a chance to you know choose our leaders or feel like we have taken part in making our government. Now um, if there weren't elections like is it Korea or is it China or I've forgotten but there are elections I think every 10 years but you can only vote for one person like make it make sense there are elections but you can vote for one person what's what's it and then the position is hereditary yeah it's that word i can't pronounce it but it's that word so it's like what you can't even choose your leaders so i can't imagine living in a country like that so i'm glad that you know we live in kenya and we'll be able to um you know choose our leaders and at least even though um, there could be cases of violence like the 2007 elections uh, post election violence uh, my hope is that it doesn't happen again and I'm going to pray that it doesn't happen next year because I need to do my KCPE it has it has already been postponed this year if there's violence postponed another year <laughs> and then I finish high school well, I mean I finish primary school and I have my ID. <laughs> I like I'll watch when I'm in class eight. God forbid, you know. And in about five years I'll be able to vote. But hey, you should know my age now. Uh, calculate. But anyways, uh let's move on to question number four. I guess it'll be question number five. Dear Abby, what is the minimum age that children should be exposed to gadgets? Minimum. I'd say 10 or 9. Ten, 9 to 10, okay? Because personally, I was like given a phone at like 8. Yeah, 8. Yeah, it was 8. It was 8. I was given a phone at 8. 
but it was because at that time I was doing like the treasure hunt bulletin so I needed a phone to like call my mom when I was in the studio or you know stuff like that basically so it was necessary but personally like I think 9 or 10 but my children maybe like 10 sharp or 11 because I don't want them getting spoiled and you know you see children nowadays small babies their parents are busy, like, you know, on work, it's like, hey, when does it let you eat? It's like, oh, how now I try to eat them to me, you know? And then they're calling. Then their kids are like, mommy, mommy. And since they're kind of busy, we just give them a phone so the children can go away. And the children get used to that so much that it's to the point where, like, the parent is not busy, but the child doesn't want to spend time with the parent or play with the parent. The child just wants to uh, be on phone. So if children get addicted to gadgets at a really young age and I don't want my children doing that. Even no TV, no TV, other TV, how much my children, you're not, let me tell you, you're getting deprived of a lot of technology. But um, anyways, let's move on to question number five. Hey Abby, what, what of those who break COVID rules, they seem fine. They seem fine till they get COVID. <laughs> no, this is okay. But people who break COVID rules by, let's say, anti-maskers, people who don't, who don't want to wear masks, or people who don't social distance, or like on purpose, they are doing it deliberately. Um, maybe, I don't know why, maybe they feel rebellious. Maybe they just feel the need to disturb people. But eventually, those measures are to protect you. And if you don't take them, then obviously you're going to get hurt. And you're just increasing the chances of you getting COVID. So they might seem fine, but the chances of them getting COVID are increased. Because the chances of someone wearing a mask and who's not wearing a mask. Let's see someone in COVID sneezes. The one who's wearing a mask, sure, they might get it. Um, but if they wear their mask correctly, it should protect them to some extent. The one who's not wearing a mask like by game over so they do seem fine but they are not and they're just like damaging themselves you know and they are they are damaging like let's say they go home and they have covid now and they don't know yet they go infect their siblings or their children you know so you should just like respect covid rules for the sake of others and for the sake of also yourself so um that's it for today's video and i hope to see you guys next time and by the way, please hit the like button and subscribe button. If you have any questions, don't forget to post them in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and by the way, um, um, I don't know what I'll do when the government says it's not mandatory to wear masks. Because I've grown to love masks because they hide your face. People don't recognize you, so <laughs> no one comes to talk to you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a very antisocial person, so I don't like talking that much. So it, it helps that they have masks that no one will recognize me. <laughs> but I do like talking to uh, most people. It's just that sometimes um, I feel like... No, just, yeah. But I like hiding my face. Because <laughs> that's because I'm kind of shy, honestly. Wait, is that question number five? Oh. Uh, I should have done this video like 30 seconds ago. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.